says, Blessed be the Lord uh, who has not given us as prey to the teeth of our enemies. He said, The snake is broken and we are escaped. How many here today have ever escaped the trap of the enemy? The devil thought he had you, but God stepped in right on time, ripped you out of the hands of the enemy. Oh, 
obedience to your word and it God on your way. Bless my heart, my tongue, my lips, guide the words that I say. Not just two songs or lifestyle as I pray. It's a sacrifice of praise each moment, every day, so that no speaks not so. Thank you, Lord. Won't ever get to half of my praise. Magnificent name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We trust you're doing well this morning. Welcome to Victory Place International Sunday morning worship experience. Virtually we go. In Jesus' name, we give God praise and thanks that He's afforded us such a privilege. Amen. Amen. And the full crew is here. Amen. And we are thankful. Amen. The church is full. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We thank God for Pastor Jenny. Amen. And we thank God for Lady Jaddy. Amen. Amen. Who is with us. And of course, all of you. Amen. Who are here. And we share this church experience together in Jesus' name. Here at Victory Place International, we honor God. We celebrate people. Amen. We change lives and we aspire to impact the world. Amen. We are an affiliate of Victory Place International Amen. in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, under the sterling leadership of my dear friend and Bishop Clive Porter Sr., his dear wife, Lady Sharon Porter, and all the VPI family, and also, amen, bless God, it will re be remiss if I don't say we got VPI in uh, in Kenya as well. Amen. Bless the Lord that is online from time to time doing their service. We got VPI in Canada. We got VPI in, uh, in uh, I believe, in Atlanta, in Jesus' name. So we give God praise. And also in Jamaica, 
Bless the Lord. So all the VPIs, wherever you are, we give God praise and thanks for you. And we are so glad that we are connected in Jesus' name. God bless you and thank all of you for being here this morning. Pastor Jenny, amen. You want to share a word and pray over and and and, um, and then we're going to ask Jade to pray and then we go further in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, bless. a blessed good morning to everyone. We're so glad that you made it to service early today. Amen. <laughs> And so we welcome our VPI um, family this morning and Amen. friends on Amen. this platform. Amen. We're so glad that you have taken this opportunity to be with us. Yes. And so we celebrate the goodness of God in the land of the living this Amen. morning. Amen. So the Lord bless you today. We hope you have a great service. We Amen. hope that you enjoy this time with us and that the Lord will really minister to you and meet you at the point of your need this morning. The Lord bless you. Amen. Lady Jade, pray over us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God, thank you for waking us up this morning. Yes. Thank you for letting us to have a successful service today. Yes, yes. And we thank you for blessing everybody on this platform. Yes, yes. And we thank you for continuing to protect them and guide them yes. throughout the week. Yes, yes. yes. And we thank you for... Your holy angels yes. watching over them and us. Yes. yes. We thank you all yes. for continuing to provide for us. Yes. And yes. And giving yes. us health and strength. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. We are just so, so, so encouraged. Amen. Bless the Lord because God is faithful. Amen. Mm -hmm. I said he is faithful faithful yeah. amen 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 yeah. bless the lord and mm -hmm. um and i am just so so excited about what he is doing and what he will continue to do amen bless mm -hmm. the lord i just felt like hearing this song this morning amen perhaps in connection with some of the things that we have to share with you today good morning uh, Stop. 
praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, amen. Music is just such a beautiful uh, medium, amen, and we mm. thank God, amen. I am just uh, so happy that all of you took the time to be with us this morning. I mm. want to, you know, we're going to dispense with some of the things that we normally do, but I want to take a minute if there is anybody here for the very first time, maybe you invited somebody, you tagged somebody, you shared with somebody, and anybody that's here for the first time, could you please identify yourself? We want to give you a, a good, special VPI welcome, and we want to let you know, amen, and appreciate you, all of us, amen, appreciate when we have new people we we are we are just so grateful because yeah. what we do here has no value it has no virtue mm -hmm. if it does not touch people if it does Amen. not if it is not geared towards lifting people out of uh, any kind of circumstance that they are in in jesus name so if this is your first time please indicate to us quickly amen we would love to know you and love to appreciate you amen, amen. bless the lord we are getting ready amen to get to the reading of the word amen and again like i said you know we won't call everybody today amen but we really would like to recognize our first timers and we thank you also for starting your watch party and for tagging a friend and for <clears throat> for encouraging somebody else for for sharing with them and all of that bless the lord we are so so very glad for your support in this area Amen. praise the lord this morning our theme also we have uh shania lester shania lester <laughs> good morning to you good morning to you good morning to you amen bless the lord and um uh what's that uh oh that name apostle ken douglas <laughs> amen good morning good morning apostle good morning and welcome we are so so very happy that you took the time amen to stop by amen bless god we appreciate you we know that you could be elsewhere amen. we know you could be doing something else so we want you to know that we appreciate so shania and um apostle ken douglas thank you for joining us amen is there anybody else any other first time and just let us know praise the lord so um i am reading this morning and the reading is kind of a little long so we're going to ask pastor jenny with a beautiful self to <laughs> engage the reading for us um in the book of judges and we're going to start to just get a context for the story um from verse number 13 in chapter 16 of the book of judges chapter 16 in the book of judges from verse number 13 and we go all the way down to verse number 30 amen press bless the name of the lord judges chapter 16 from verse 13 bless the lord and delilah said unto samson mm -hmm. hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound mm -hmm. and he said unto her if thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web. Mm -hmm. And she fastened it with the pin and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. Yes. And he awakened out of his sleep and went away with the pin of the beam mm -hmm. and with the web. Yes. And she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee when thy heart is not with me? Mm -hmm. Thou hast mocked me these three times and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. Yes. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words yes. and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death, yes. that he told her all his heart and said unto her, there had not come a razor upon my head, mm -hmm. for I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. Yes. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Yes. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, mm -hmm. she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, yes. saying, Come up 
at once, for he had shown me all his heart. Yes. Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and bought money in their hand. Mm -hmm. And she made him sleep upon her knees. Yes. And she called for a man. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. Yes. And she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. Yes. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. Yes. And he was not that the Lord was departed from him. Mm -hmm. But the Philistines took him. And put out his eyes, yes. and brought him down to Gaza, mm -hmm. and bound him with feathers of brass, yes. and he did grind in the prison house. Yes, howbeit his the hair of his head began to grow again. Yes, after he was shaven, mm -hmm. then the lords of the Philistines gathered themselves together. For to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon, their yeah. God. Yes. And to rejoice, for they said, Our God mm -hmm. had delivered Samson, yes. our enemy, yes. into our hand. Yes. And when the people saw him, they praised their God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for they said, Our God had yes. delivered into our hands yes. our enemy uh -huh. and the destroyer of our country, That's which right. slew many of us. Yes. And yes. it came yes. to pass when their hearts were merry that they said call for Samson yes that he may make us sport mm -hmm. and they called for Samson out of the prison house that's right and he made them sport and they set him between the pillars yes and Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, mm -hmm. Suffer me that I may feel the pillars whereupon the house standeth, yes. that I may lean upon them. Mm -hmm. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Philistines were there. Yes. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women yes. that beheld why Samson made sport. Mm -hmm. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me. I yes, pray thee, yes. and strengthen me. Yes, I pray thee only this once, O God, yes. that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines yes. from my two eyes. Yes, yes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, mm -hmm. and on which it was borne up. Yes, of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left. Yes, and Samson said, "Let me die with the Philistines." Yes, and yes. he bowed himself with all his might, mm -hmm. and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. Yes, for the dead which he slew, at the time of his death, mm -hmm. <laughs> were more than they which he slew in his life. Yes, then his brethren and all the house of his father came down and took him, and brought him up and buried him between Zoras and Esetol in mm. the very place of Manu, his father, and he judged Israel 20 years. Amen, Hallelujah. amen, amen. I know it's been, you know, it's a lot of reading, but sometimes amen. it is important, and I, I think reading of the scriptures is a yes. healthy thing as well. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to also add to that um, portion a, is a verse that is found in the book of First Peter chapter 2, and verse 9 which says but ye are a chosen generation Amen. a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people Thank you, Jesus. that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called us out of darkness into his marvelous light Amen. glory to God we must protect our calling at all costs right. amen this is our theme this morning we must protect our calling at all costs amen bless the name of the lord and and we have chosen the life story of samson who you are familiar with i suspect and also to marry that with what is required of us as born again children of God in this dispensation where God clearly express and and um and and and, and speaks to us about our person and our purpose he explains to us that we are royalty that we are consecrated that we are sacred and our purpose is to show forth to manifest to represent amen his grace and mercy to show forth his amen. marvelous amen. light 
Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. And so this morning, the context of our, our discourse, amen, is of course, as I said, uh, looking at the life of this man that we call Samson. You have heard about him, amen, if you've been around Sunday school or amen or anywhere close to where Bible has been read, <laughs> you would have heard about Samson. Amen. Bless That's the right. name of the Lord. The time in which... Uh, this story uh, takes shape is a season when the children of Israel as usual mm -hmm. would have violated the principles of God and the purposes of God and so on mm -hmm. and God allows the Philistines amen to come in and to begin to afflict them mm -hmm. and if, in fact the Bible says if you read from chapter 13 that the Philistines afflicted the children of Israel for some 40 years. That's a long time to That's be afflicted. Right. Right. Bless the name of the Lord. And during this time, because God always has a soft spot for his people, yes. no matter how uh, grievous people may violate his principles, no matter how far yeah. gone they may Amen. be, God has a soft spot in his heart for his people. Amen. So God sent an angel to a gentleman by the name of Manoah. And Manoah's wife actually was barren. And the angel came and told Manoah that, amen, he will, his wife will conceive miraculously. Amen. And the child that should be born must be a consecrated child. Right. The child must be a Nazarite. And a Nazarite means a special child, okay. set apart, untrimmed, in fact, is yeah. one of the words that is used, consecrated unto God. Right. Have certain parameters, amen, have certain things that he yes. cannot eat and amen. certain things that he could not engage in and That's so on, right. all That's because right. of the call that was upon his life. Amen. Similar to what we have just read according to Peter, chosen people, royal priesthood, amen, bless God, holy, amen. and all that consecrated created set apart unto God That's therefore right. there are certain things amen that we cannot engage in there are certain things that cannot be acceptable because of the call amen, right. amen. bless the name of the right. Lord it is endemic of the call it is like a package deal as long as you can say you are saying that you are called of God and you are a child of God there are some things that you just cannot engage in as a practice there are some things amen that that is contrary to the call hallelujah right. bless the name of the amen. lord amen. amen and so we are told as samson begins to grow samson amen bless god is a mighty deliverer amen. for the children of israel and he continues to smite the enemy who are the philistines amen. bless the name amen. of the lord and amen. we do not get any description of samson's physique per se we just know that he was anointed of god yes. he had amen. the grace amen. of god upon amen him and that caused him to be mighty yes. he had strength that was beyond ordinary strength that's bless right, god and right, amen right. we are told that one time he slew some men with the jawbone of a donkey we are told right. that amen. one time he picked up an entire gate of a city and yes. went with it and amen, amen. they will that's bind right. him with chains while he sleep and all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and he will mm -hmm. break them asunder because of the call that was upon yes. his life amen. and want you to understand something that when you are a child of God, mm -hmm. that when you are a royal priest, so there is some might and there is some power and there is some mm -hmm. virtue mm -hmm. that is bestowed upon you as a child of God. That's right. The enemy cannot stand the strength that is in you. Mm -hmm. So he constantly tries to see how he can get to attack your strength, to wear mm. you down, to break you down. Right. Because he knows the only way he can conquer you is if yeah. you are void of strength, is if somehow that call that is upon your life mm. is compromised and yes. that call is undermined. Satan knows very well mm. that he cannot succeed in your life and mine except he breaks down our defenses. That's Glory right. to God. Amen. Except he manages somehow, amen, to compromise 
compromise our call. Yes, and I want you to understand today, this is the reason why. As a child of God, you must protect your calling at all costs. That's right. Amen. You must protect your calling. You can't leave it up to chance. Amen. You can't leave it up to anybody else. My wife constantly says to me, amen, that she's got to make heaven. She's got to work out her own salvation. And it is so true. You can't depend on your husband. You can't depend on your children. That's you right. can't depend upon your wife. You can't depend upon your pastor. You can't depend upon your prophet, your pontiff, or your pope. Amen. You have to make a decision to yes. protect protect your call amen at all costs amen. glory to god amen. and so my brothers and sisters this morning i want to encourage you because we are living in some tempting times yeah. we are living amen in some yeah. terrible yeah. times yeah. we are living in some difficult times yeah. and the pressures of life and the various snares oh, and threats god. of the enemy yes. are against us and so we've yes. got to protect our yes. call amen glory be to god we have to protect our call my brothers and sisters from the tricks of contamination yes. glory to god and this was one of samson's main problems samson mm -hmm. amen began to contaminate the consecration he began yes. to contaminate yes. his call the truth is that amen that mm -hmm. he was kind of careless amen yes. bless god careless amen bless god and sometimes we find with our anointed self mm -hmm. that sometimes we could be careless That's amen true. bless God, we can take unnecessary chances and oh, we can okay. walk in areas of risk. This is the human experience. Yes, Bless amen. the name of the Lord and not because you are anointed that you are exempt from those true. types of that threats and those amen. types of tendencies. Amen. Understand that God puts his anointing upon men. We are amen. not angels. We are not amen. machines. We are human beings amen. that are susceptible amen. to human threats and human That's challenges. Right. And it was right. the same thing with Samson. That's right. Samson was a human being. Amen. amen. Bless God. He was consecrated. He was amen. called. He was mighty. But he was a human being that was susceptible amen. to That's all right. the temptations right. around. Amen. amen. Bless God. And Samson began, amen, to drink wine he began to do things that was a contradiction to his call hear me my brothers and sisters we've got to protect the call amen, amen. you've amen. got to protect it for your own good yes. not to please somebody That's not right. to impress somebody amen. amen but really for your Hallelujah. own good for your own personal amen. well-being you've Thank got you to Jesus. protect the call right. Samson was careless amen 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 and it's not just carelessness but Samson had some customs amen yes. some behavior some tendencies yes. hallelujah to always engage and to like things that he shouldn't like yes. thank you jesus yes. amen and isn't that like us That's amen true. bless That's god true. amen and it's not just morality yes. issues you know amen sometimes it's physical issues yes. there are things that are not yes. good for you how many yes. times you have heard doctors Ooh, say to men god. don't consume that substance yes. amen but they like the taste of it yes. how many times amen you are told you shouldn't eat that but because you like the kind of food yes. and you still go amen. amen bless the lord because it's a custom it's in you yes. Right. It's a propensity. It oh, is a tendency. Exactly. Amen. Bless God to like crazy women or to like crazy men. Amen. Exactly. Some people have a tendency to like people that are abusive. They have a tendency mm. to go after people. Bless God. They don't like nice, calm, decent people. They have because something running in the family. It it it. Mm. it there's a there are myriad of reasons. All yes. I'm saying to you, yes. my brothers and sisters, we've got to protect ourselves yes. from the trick of contamination right. amen right. bless god and what happened to samson as well because samson was so mighty amen and while he was engaging in contamination bless the lord amen his carelessness and his custom there was yes. a kind of conceit that developed the yes. word conceit really speaks about egotism Yes. And also a kind of arrogance yes. because you know you're strong, amen. Bless God. And every time they try something, while mm. Samson was sipping his wine, while he was, amen, going after strange women, because, amen, we are told that the, he said he saw a woman someplace and the, and wanted the woman and told his parents about his parents, but that is a contradiction. That's that right. is a violation, yeah. not good. But he said, listen, that is what I want, that is what I like. And sometimes it is our own decisions, our yeah. own 
own yeah. choices as yes. human beings. Yes. If we are honest, right. we will be we will say it. Amen. Sometimes yes. we blame the devil, sometimes we blame people, but some of us we just have some crazy choices yes. that we like. Come on here. That's Bless right. the name of the Lord. And Samson was conceit conceited too. Mm -hmm. He was kind of arrogant, bless God with it. Mm -hmm. And you know that, amen, that when it comes to arrogance, God can't stand it. That's amen. Right. Six things the Lord hate. Here they seven and the first one is a proud look. Yes. And Samson, yes. although he was engaged in contamination, was arrogant about yes. it. Amen. Yes. Bless yes. God. And I'm yes. telling you, con uh, 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 mm -hmm. contamination is a dangerous thing. You know, one of the things they used to do in the Old Testament, Pastor Jenny, yes. sometimes when a man killed another yes. amen and they want to 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 exercise or to 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 pronounce the the capital punishment yes. they want what they will do they will take the corpse mm -hmm. the corpse of that person that you killed mm -hmm. and they will tie it strap it to your back yes. and you will have to walk around with that corpse yes. walk around with that yes. corpse and you know after a while yes. amen the decomposing the de decomposing flesh bacteria yes. from the dead will yes. seep yes. into yes. the living mm -hmm. amen bless god That's until right. you eventually die yes. that is a kind of compromise that is what compromise is yes. it will seep into your soul and yes. seep contamination rather seep into your spirit amen seep into every aspect of your life with mm -hmm. the sole purpose to destroy yes. glory to god contamination my brothers and sisters you 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 know it mm -hmm. you know it you can have a box of fruit Mm -hmm. Amen. You just put one yeah. bad foot in there and it contaminates yeah. the whole that's box right. after that's a while. Right. Isn't that's it true? Right. That's true. Amen. One teeth, one tooth rather oh in your God. mouth. Bless mm -hmm. God. Amen. That has a cavity. Bless mm -hmm. God. And you don't deal with that. Mm -hmm. The infection affects your entire mouth. Yeah. In fact, you feel the pain in your brain sometimes. <laughs> I can't get no help. Oh Amen. You feel God. pain in your air. Yeah. You think it's an air ache you have when it yeah. is because you have a cavity. That's I'm trying right. to tell you bless God that contamination amen will impact everything about you it will yeah. throw off your equilibrium yeah. you've got to protect your call at all costs amen. glory amen. to God you've got to protect it from the tricks of contamination yeah. you also got to protect your call from the threat of compromise yes the word compromise has several meanings and dependent on its usage you can have the connotations but compromise speaks about our agreement mm -hmm. it speaks about a half measure it speaks about a concession it speaks about a settlement for something glory to god so samson amen bless god added to his contamination he started out dabbling in things that he should not then he ended up in a compromised situation yes. where he married the wrong woman Blessed, and then of course, amen. After that, he went after a harlot and fell in love with a harlot. Listen to me, it is not that love is wrong, it is not that wanting a companion is wrong, it is just that when you are called, there are certain parameters in which you must enjoy these things. I can't get no help, amen. Let me say this again, amen. It is not that enjoying, amen, the company of somebody is wrong, it is not that enjoying life and being a benefit fishery amen of love and all the other things that go with it is wrong it is just that as a child of god when you are called when you are consecrated this must be enjoyed within a certain context are you amen. hearing amen. amen amen bless god so samson amen was in a situation of compromise he was in a situation of half measure he was in a situation where he agreed amen bless god amen with something that was contrary to his call are you hearing? Amen. He agreed with something that was contrary to his call. Amen. He made a concession with something that was contradicting who he was. Oh, come on here. Bless the Lord. And that happens to us sometimes. We find ourselves in situations. Amen. And you know that that's not where you're supposed to be. You know that's not how you're supposed to behave. Amen. Bless God. And the trouble begins when you begin to agree with it. When you begin to make excuses for it when you begin to adjust to facilitate it that's in right, Jesus name right. amen mm -hmm. but watch this now the threat of compromise amen what it does it can cause 
Amen. Blindness. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You know what happened? The Bible says that she began to press on him. Amen. And said, you say that you love me, but the thing about it, mm. amen, Samson's enemies were trying their best to see how they could defeat him. Yeah. And they yeah. found that Samson has this tendency. Come on here. They see Samson going into this harlot and they realize that this may be an area they could use. So they yeah. offered the harlot some money. I mean, and anybody's supposed to know once you yeah. offer a harlot, amen, bless God, hallelujah. <clears throat> She's a CSP, which is a commercial sex provider. Glory to God. And she gets money for that. Amen. And they offer her big money. They say, listen, find out, amen, what is the yes. source of this man's amen. strength. Amen. amen. Bless God. We know that if we're able to compromise his strength, yes. then we shall be able to defeat him. You have to understand yes. that yes. what the yes. devil is really trying to do is to see how we could break down your defenses yes. and break yes. down, amen, your strength so that he can conquer you. You yes. cannot be conquered. Yeah. Amen. If you walk in your call, you yeah. cannot be conquered. It don't mean you don't experience stuff. You know? It don't mean that stuff mm -hmm. don't come against you, but you will not be conquered That's as right. long as you walk in your yeah. call in Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. And the yeah. Bible says that she began to ask some. You know, women always like to ask what's on your mind and what's all of that. That's a general thing. But she began to press on him mm -hmm. in Jesus' name and ask him what is the source of his strength. And Samson told her one thing once, one thing a second time, amen, amen, and better. When they thought they had him, it's a strange thing in the passage, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Samson would get up and break the yeah. bands, amen, and yeah. break up the house, and amen, bless God. But the thing about it, he will still go back. Yeah. Glory to God. <laughs> knowing that they're trying to trick him, knowing that, glory to God. Yeah. I'm telling you, this human, yeah. human beings and the way we yeah. think. Listen to me. Amen. But my brothers and sisters, this thing that is called compromise can produce blindness. Amen. Amen. When eventually the Bible says she began to press on him. Amen. Press on him until she started weighing him down. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Weighing him down. Bless God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that Samson said he came to a place where he's almost like close to death. He was yes. weary. He couldn't stand it. Amen. 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 Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yes. Amen. Men have strengths and women have strengths. Mm -hmm. Men have physical strengths and men, amen, have a, a kind of disposition to take charge and to lead and so on. Women have the capacity to wear you down. I can't get no help. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why are you ain't saying that, Pastor Jenny? Amen. Bless God. Women could wear you down. Amen. It's a gift. Women could... Listen, do you remember? You talked about her yesterday. That woman, amen, bless God, that crossed the border and came up from Canaan. Bless God and met the disciples and all of that stuff. Amen. Bless God. Talking and asking for help. Nobody taking her on. Amen. Even Jesus not even responding. But she will not go away. Yeah. Bless God. When the Bible, the Bible says she, she kind of flipped the script and she came and worshipped him. I don't know where she learned that from. She <laughs> came and fell down and be, I'm telling you, come on sisters, it's the truth. That when you decide that you're going after something, you don't stop until you get it. Why I can't get no help here. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb. No matter who he says he's not giving you, you will feed him, bless God, rub his head, give him some conjugal activity and ask him after that. I can't get no help this morning. Glory to God, but it's a gift. And she began to weigh him down. She began to weigh him down. You always hear men talking about how they strong. Amen. And women can't do them. That The devil is a liar. You ain't reached the right one yet. That is the problem. But she began to wear him down until the Bible said Samson said, you know what? Amen. Let me just get this woman off my back before Amen. Bless God. She just kills me. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he told her everything. Amen. Bless God. Men, Amen. Bless God. Once we are, it, 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 it's an issue with men. We, we like the comforts of conversation. Sometimes we have different difficulty engaging it but we like the comforts of conversation we like to be able to share our heart with somebody that we think that we trust or somebody that we think that love us are you hearing mm -hmm. that we think that love us glory to god but this is a strange situation amen bless her to love a sex provider glory to god but this mm -hmm. is the kind of man that samson was with his anointed self mm -hmm. and you have to understand you must pray for anointed people anointed people are not angels we are not 
amen bless god you know outside of the reach of issues and outside of the reach of flaws and tendencies you must continue to pray for anointed people are you hearing what i'm saying yeah. some of the most anointed people have the most difficulty in their personal lives Mm -hmm. Listen to me. There are very uh, men that have been documented, great reformers and stuff. Amen. In years past, they have a lot of personal issues. That's some right. of them had family issues and all that. Yeah. Some of them had sickness in their body and all that. But they have been, amen, represented in church history. Amen. For the call that was upon yeah. their lives. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. Bless God. So they wear Samson down. She wears Samson down. Bless God. And Samson tells her everything. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The Bible says they came and she said, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. Yeah. And Samson yes. got up like normal mm -hmm. because I realized Realize something that you never know when the strength leave you, you know yes. you never know it bless God amen it is a kind of real tricky tricky kind of stuff you don't yes. know amen you can go through the motion you've been doing church and mm -hmm. doing ministry and all that for so long after that right, you learn the craft of the thing Jesus. but but the virtue of the thing could leave you I can't get no help amen. the value yes. the essence of the thing could leave you yes. and you don't realize it That's and the Bible right. said when Samson got up he didn't mm -hmm. he wished not he didn't realize yes. he didn't have an inkling that his strength was gone That's glory right. to God right. and they took him bless God the first thing they did was put out his eyes mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hear me, my brothers and sisters. Compromise can produce blindness. You hear me? Right. It can prevent you from seeing who you are, seeing where you're supposed to go, mm. seeing what you're supposed to accomplish. That's blindness right. is a terrible thing for somebody with a call upon their life. Are you right. hearing? Yeah. Bless the Lord. Well, blindness is terrible anyway. Yeah. Bless God because you just can't see where you're going. Mm. And when you can't see where you're going, you could step mm. in wrong things. You could step in wrong places. Yes. You could step on wrong yes. people. Yes. I can't get yes. no help yes. this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord, but that's the first thing that compromise produced yes. in Samson's situation. And it is a fact. But when you're in a compromised situation, it damages your sight. Yes. It damages your insight. It damages your ability to yes. see your way. That's Glory right. to God. You can't see your way because you're in a compromised situation. Amen. Not only does amen. it produce, amen, blindness, but it also produces bondage. Yes. After they put out his eyes, Pastor Jenny, the Bible said they began to bind him up. Yes. They tied him up. Bless God. They said, let's tie up these hands because the hands were the most deadly things in yes. Looks yes. like Samson. So they began to tie up his hand. And that's what the enemy wants to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bless want to shut up your mouth. I want to shut up your activity, your yes. spiritual engagement. Yes. Talk to me here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Bless God because you're in compromise. And isn't that mm -hmm. what compromise does? Yes. Amen. It makes guilt, makes you shut up. Amen. Yes. Bless God. Your conscience tell you hush. Glory yes. to God when you should speak up, when you should give an opinion. But because of compromise, you have to hush. You, the, yes. the most powerful tool you have is your mouth because we have to speak things that be not as though they were glory yes. to God we have to speak a lot of things and make declarations yes. but compromise makes you hush because yes. you know amen that you're not walking according to how you're supposed to be yes. walking as it relates yes. to your call I can't get no help amen. Amen. glory to God so they bind up Samson yes. they tied up the instrument amen that he was using for the most part to mm. accomplish most of his purpose yes. amen bless God, the strength that they saw manifested yes. for the most part was in Samson's yes. hands and yes. his feet. So they yes. bind him up, bless God. Yes. Hallelujah. They start to inhibit him. They yes. start to limit his activity. Yes. And that's the truth. Compromise limits your activity, yes. limits your skill, limits yes. your gift, yes. limits yes. your contribution, yes. limits yes. your advancement. That's that is right. what compromise that's does. Right. Glory yes. to God. Amen. Bless God. So you have to protect yourself, my yes. brothers and sisters. Yes. Amen. At all costs, you must protect your call. Yes. Protect your call. Amen. Yes. Don't sit and listen to foolish people. Protect your call. Yes. Protect your call. Amen. Amen. From the tricks of contamination yes. and from the threat of compromise. Amen. Yes. Watch this now. 
Amen. The Bible says that they took him after they bind him and amen. They put him at the mill to grind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bless God. And they began to make sport of him. Yes. They began to mock him. Yes. And there's a next thing too. Amen. That compromise can cause a bemeaning. Bemeaning means mockery. Mm -hmm. Amen. To bring you down. To treat you little. To yeah, belittle yeah, you. Yeah, with yeah. your anointed self. With your call. Yeah. Amen. And they start to make sport. As you read. Yeah. Amen. They start laughing. And having mm -hmm. merry meant and saying that we have defeated not only Samson yeah. but we defeated his it's God because right. in those days when you won a battle the mm. essence was that you won the battle over the God that was yeah. in charge of yes, these yes. people Yes, yes. And that is why, amen, they were praying and rejoicing yes. with their God. Amen. amen. Bless God. Whether it was Dagon or which one of them. Yes. But they were rejoicing and giving right. kudos to their yes. God. Saying that their mm. God gave them the ability. But they don't know. You see, mm. they, they have limited knowledge about Jehovah. <laughs> they, you see, these people, amen, mm. bless God. Yes. Amen. They are spiritually and theologically delayed. Yes. Amen. They have, they have limited information. And Jehovah is sitting and nothing irks. God like that. Mm -hmm. When you try to put up an idol and say yeah, it is better than God. Right. Although Samson was dealing with the consequences of his action, mm -hmm. God still say, because you have crossed the line and tried to attribute what has taken place to your God, I will prove something yes, to you. Amen. I remember amen. Pastor Jenny in another time when Philistines, them Philistines, like they have the tendency <laughs> to get on God's nerves. Amen. amen. Bless God. They won a battle and took the Ark of the Covenant mm -hmm. and put it in the house of their God named Dagon and put it next to Dagon. Mm -hmm. Bless God. When they woke up the next morning, they found Dagon was flat on his face. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah yes, to the land. Yes, and somebody said, perhaps maybe there was some wind last night. Perhaps something <laughs> happened. And if your God can't stand up on his own, yes, something yes, is wrong. But that's another message anyway. Yes, Bless yes, the name yes, of the Lord. So they erected Dagon a second time. Mm -hmm. The next morning when they woke up, Dagon Amen, was, was flat on the ground. Yes, Yes. Amen. Broken off at the stump. <laughs> Hands broken off. Yes. Head broken Amen. off. God yes. was sending a clear message that there is one God and is me. There is Amen. one God and I could come in your house and prove that I am God. Amen. I will Amen. come in your house. I will come in this situation and yes. make an executive decision because yes. you crossed yes. the line. Glory to God. And this is what these Philistines did. They crossed the line. Yes. Amen. Yes. By saying that it was their God that conquered Samson. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. So they began to be mean him. They began, bless God, to make sport and all of that. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says Samson's hair began to grow. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Glory Amen. be Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb. But I don't understand. Amen. Here is a thing you shave it off, but it grows back. <laughs> That's right. I need a shave right now. That's I like right. to shave my face, shave my hair, and look as if I'm 25 again. <laughs> Some people can't understand. Amen. That November 16 coming, the Lord's willing. I will be amen 58 years of age amen. but when i shave my head and shave bless god my face you will never know it except <laughs> i told you i don't care what your opinion is i'm trying to tell you something amen but when you shave here i wish i could stay shaven i find i look so good i just be impressed with myself when i'm shaven i feel good are you hearing amen when i have all this here on my face i get frustrated i get yeah. depressed amen bless god it begins to itch all over amen my this out one day I was trying a thing of growing a beard and when I grow this beard it gets white and my sisters amen lament oh gosh you look like an old man and all that kind of stuff bless God but the point is that when you cut hair off it grows back that's right that's glory right. be to amen. God Samson's amen. hair begin to grow yes. Samson's hair begins to amen. grow back glory to God amen. hear me my brothers and sisters this final point and I'm done I'm gonna leave you alone this morning yes, amen you must protect your call Hallelujah from the tricks of contamination. Yes. You must protect your call from the threat of compromise. Yes. You must protect your call from the tentacles of catastrophe. Yes. Hallelujah to the Lamb. While they're doing all that, Amen, Samson came to a realization. Amen. Hallelujah. While Hallelujah. Samson is grinding, while mm. Samson is grinding, while Samson is listening to all the negative things they're saying, and mm. while Samson is hearing and they're making 
sport and they call yeah. for Samson to make sport yeah. deep down in Samson's heart. Samson is coming to a realization. You, and you know there is a connection, Pastor Jenny, with the growing back of the hair yes. and the realization. Yes. Amen. That when the hair start growing back, when the source glow with oh, the God of his strength amen. start amen. coming amen. back, he start thinking differently yes. again. Are you hearing? Amen. Because amen. bondage could really not only bind you physically, yes. you know. Bondage could wear you down and break you down yes. mentally and spiritually. Right. The Bible said when they called Samson to make sport, he was making sport. That's right. He was making sport because bondage had him. But yes. as his hair began to grow back, Samson oh, started coming to himself. Jesus. Glory Jesus. be to Amen. God. And I'm telling somebody Amen. this morning, your hair is growing back. Amen. I said your hair is growing back. Amen. You've been Amen. through a lot. You've Hallelujah. been through some mess. You've Hallelujah. made some bad choices. You've Jesus. made some bad Jesus. decisions, Jesus. but your hair Amen. is growing Amen. back. Hallelujah Amen. to the Lamb. You're not Amen. on this profile and on this even on this Jesus. platform rather by chance. You are here Amen. to be reminded Amen. that your hair is growing back. Right. That desire, that internal yeah. drive. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. That push that is there. It is because your hair is growing back. Amen. In Jesus' name, Samson Amen. start realizing that he is a Nazarite called yeah. of God. Yeah. A mighty man of valor. Glory yeah. be to God. And yeah. Samson begins to talk to himself. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you, sometimes the best person to counsel you is you mm -hmm. amen. amen when you start understanding what is taking place you got to talk to yourself yes. man glory to god and samson amen bless god begins to talk to himself and as yes. samson amen is coming to this realization his hair is growing they bring him one more time to make sport yes. samson says i'm going this time because this was not the first yes. time yes. they was using him over a period of yes. time to make sport and to mock him yes. but as his hair grew back yes. and he began to realize who he was. Amen. Samson began to call on God. Amen. That's Samson right. had restoration. Hear me yes. today. Amen. Men and women, brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter Amen. how far you went. It yes. doesn't matter what you did and what you went through. The yes. call of God is a sacred thing. Amen. Hear me. God does not call people and then make it up as he go. That's God right. knows exactly what he's doing. The, and when God calls and bestows something on you, you don't have to take it yes. back. Yes. Let me explain something. Amen. The call doesn't go away, you know. The effects mm -hmm. of the call wane because the activities that you should engage in to manifest the call, you no longer are able to do that because of the compromising issues. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing? Mm -hmm. So the anointing is still there. The anointing don't mm -hmm. go up into space. It is there. It yes. is just that you can't take advantage of it anymore because it mm -hmm. requires faith. It requires yeah. taking certain actions, reading and praying and all those things for it to be manifested. Yes, right. And those are the things that are severely undermined when you are in a situation Amen. like Samson. Amen. Hear me well, hear me well. Bless God, but your hair begins to grow back, man. Amen. Amen. Bless God, Samson. Amen. Has realization taking place and restoration. Amen. Samson tells a young boy, listen, position me in a place. Glory yes. to God. Watch this now. Watch this, watch this, watch it. And the next point I'm talking about and I'm done is retribution yes retribution yes. samson said lord i realize i messed this thing up yeah. but i want you to renew my strength amen. amen bless god he said and he said this to god let me die with them yes yes no god answers his prayer yes. you understand what I'm saying yes. I don't know. I mean another man may have prayed a different prayer yes, but right. that was the prayer that samson prayed yes, right. samson said lord I will martyr myself. Yeah. It will go down in history. Mm. Hallelujah. That I give me life. Amen. For your cause. Yes. And I will take out more in this one feet. Yes. Than I did in all my life. Yes. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Retribution. Hear me. Yes. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. This second round, this second wave. Yes. Hallelujah. Of the Hallelujah. call of God. You must eat up everything in your yes, way. Amen. Like the ox mm -hmm. lick it up the grass. Amen. You must amen. go for everything. Right. You must, amen, right. bless That's God. Right. Now is the time I could use this phrase. I don't like it, but I'm going to use it now. Yeah. Everything the enemy took. Yeah. Everything, bless God, that you think is necessary yes. and you want back. Hear me? Because you don't have to want back everything. But everything that you want back, right. Samson got what he asked God for. That's he right. asked God, amen, to renew his strength. And Samson said, Lord, I'm prepared to put my life on the line. Yes. 
So whatever you ask God for. So if there is something that the enemy stole, a relationship, a marriage, family, job, mm. physical resources, mm. and you ask God for that, God is committed to helping you regaining yes. that in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. There must be retribution. Yes. Amen. And that is the reason why the devil has been trying to mess with you. Because he knows when you get going. He knows mm. that you have a sacred part to play in this earth. Mm. He knows that you got something to accomplish. He mm. knows you have a kind of metal inside of you that when you get ready, amen, bless God, enemies got to move and let you pass. Amen, so he's right, trying to do right. prevention rather than cure. That's he right. knows that if he has to try to rectify what you do, Hallelujah. that it might take him so much time and resource. Amen. So he's trying to prevent you from get, yes. getting going, yes. trying to prevent, prevent you from getting yes. started, trying amen. to prevent you from understanding your true calling mm -hmm. and your true nature mm -hmm. and your true purpose on the earth. He's yes. trying to yes. shut you down. Yes. He's trying to destroy you. He's trying yes. to make sure that you never live out those mm -hmm. things that God has. Listen to me. Yes. Amen. Oh. Compromise can shorten your lifespan. Yes. That's right. It can shorten your lifespan. Are you hearing oh, me? No, Bless no. God. Amen. I don't and I am not I don't I don't have all the information, but there are some people I believe that has gone to the grave that should be alive today. Compromise will shorten your lifespan. Glory to God because faith is action and it's on what things that you do. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And as Samson called on God for retribution, the Bible yes. said that the strength came back and bless God, you know the story. The house came down on all of them that was making sport, all of them that were bemeaning him, all of them that were attacking the integrity of God, all of them. Yes. That thought, amen, that they had the victory. They didn't understand that yes. Yahweh sits yes. higher, looks yes. low. Hallelujah. They don't understand. And those individuals today, I'm done, I'm done. Those individuals that are looking at you and have all mm. kinds of evil things to say and have all kind of evil plots that they plots that they concocting and have all kind of schemes, plus them devils who are working with them have all kind of wiles that they're planning. They have another thing coming. Yes. Why? Because you're here. Yes. Hallelujah yes. to the yes. Lamb. Yes. Glory to God. Your yeah. hair has grown. Your yeah. hair is growing. Yeah. In Jesus name. And you understand that you are not supposed to die now. Yeah. You are not supposed to go down like this. You are not yeah. supposed to live in this kind of situation. Yeah. You are not supposed to settle for nothing second yeah. class. You are not supposed to be mistreated and abused by people. You are a child of God. You are a daughter of Zion. Amen. You are better than this. You ain't supposed to be in no abusive relationship where no man hitting you physically and mistreating you. You need to get up and get away from that because God is on your side. Yeah. And I'm not trying to simplify yeah. stuff, you know, but I'm just trying to tell you that your hair has grown back. Yes. And because your hair is growing back, you are on a path for retribution. Amen. You are on a path, bless God, to accomplish everything that God said you're supposed Amen. to accomplish. I got to stop today. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to protect your call. Yes. Notice what the message is saying. The message is saying that you must protect your call. Amen. If you protect it, you don't have to go through all the stuff that Samson Amen. went through. Amen. But the, the caveat in the thing, or rather the balance in the message, even though Samson went through all of that, yes. there was restoration yes. for him. Amen. Amen. So we are talking to people at different places. Yes. Amen. So some of you, amen, may be in a, in a poise now. You may be at the brink of compromising your call or involving some kind of contaminating kind of situation. The story yes. is teaching you and showing you the consequences of that. Yes. Amen. So to avoid that, you yeah. can stop now. You can reverse now. You can take corrective action. Yeah. But some of us may already be in compromised situation. Yeah. And I'm trying to tell you, amen, bless God, God is not condemning you. And this message is not meant to condemn anybody. It is not even meant to rebuke you. It is just meant to inform you, to edify you, and to encourage you, yeah. and to let you know, amen, bless God, even if Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. You were fallen. Amen. Amen. Bless God. There is restoration for you Amen. in Jesus. Your enemies will not get the last laugh over you. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. I got to Amen. stop. Amen. Hallelujah. Protect.
protect your call at all costs. Protect it, protect it. Come on, pray, Pastor Jenny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Ah, thank, thank you, Jesus. You hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a word to us this hallelujah. morning. What hallelujah. a word hallelujah. to our hallelujah. spirits, Father. Thank we you. thank you for our rhema word. We Amen. thank you for the word in season. Yes. Father, we declare today, Lord thank Jesus, you, Lord. that the hand of God is upon our lives. Yes, oh God. yes, yes. Father, yes. we declare today that we thank will you. walk in our calling as yes. your children, yes. Father. Yes. Yes. And yes. we will protect yes. the anointing that is upon our Amen. lives Amen. in the Amen. mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father, touch my sister today. Touch my brother today. Touch yes. those on this platform, mm -hmm. my God, who may be in a situation yes. this morning, yes. my God, yes. like yes. Samson, Father. Yes. But we thank you that you are the God of restoration yes. and you are yes. the God of retribution. Yes, yes God, and you will restore mm -hmm. all that the canker woman, the yes. palm woman, yes. has eaten yes. away from yes. the lives yes. of all yes. your people, yes. God. Yes. Yes. And Father, yes. we thank you for restoration this yes. morning. We thank you for restoring to my uh, brother yes. his strength, yes. restoring yes. to my sister her strength. We thank you for releasing a yes. fresh anointing yes. upon yes. our lives. Yes. Today, Father, Amen. empowering us mm -hmm. and strengthening us, my God, to accomplish oh, even more, to oh God, in glory this life than, than we have done in the past. We God. thank you for a new wind Amen. of your spirit, my God, Amen. blowing upon mm -hmm. our lives mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. In you. the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you that you're going to cause us to soar on the yes. wings of you yes. today. Yes. In the yes. name yes. of yes. Jesus, yes. Yes. oh Father, we thank you for your yes. wind blowing upon us, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So renew our strength, restore us today, Father God. Anoint us afresh, yes, my God. Yes. Let every blessing that belongs yes. to us come and yes. that, Father. Yes. In the yes. mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Father, we thank you, my God, mm -hmm. that retribution is coming to yes. the enemy, yes. Father. Yes. God. Yes. 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 In yes. the mighty name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Father, we give you praise and thanks mm -hmm. for what you're going to do yes. in this season, in this hour, Amen. in our lives. Amen. For your honor and glory yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. 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 God you, bless Jesus. every every single one Thank of you, you Jesus. we love you and appreciate yes, you amen. amen and we ask of you as per usual hallelujah, amen if the lord hallelujah. touches your heart you can sow into the ministry you, amen for those of you that are in the u.s and so on you can use take advantage hallelujah. of the cash up and zell application that is there on the screen Thank amen you, bless god and um you can do that if you are locally amen you can contact us we just ask that you sow into the ministry amen. if it blesses you excuse me so into it and this is biblical this is not and this there is no pressure quite obviously amen. we are fully cognizant of the times we understand amen. amen and if you have the capacity to sow into the ministry you never ever amen lose when you invest in the kingdom in jesus mighty That's name right. so we give amen. god praise and thanks but That's either way either amen. way we are happy that you were right. here amen. in our service with us amen. we are so happy that the lord has allowed us Amen. To share these thoughts. Amen. Amen. There was a major struggle with trying to put this these thoughts together, I tell you. Amen. Amen. And, and that's why we depend upon the Spirit to help us in that's Jesus' right. name. That's and we right. give Him praise and thanks Thank for you, all Lord. of you. I yes. hope, I sincerely hope, we sincerely hope. Mm -hmm. that what you have heard today has helped you in some yes. way shape or form yes. amen yes. god bless you bless, bless you bless you, you. Bless looking you. forward to connecting with amen. you again our next meeting time Much is tuesday morning pastor amen. jenny will be speaking in jesus name to us next tuesday morning in jesus name and we'll see where the lord takes us amen, amen. god bless, bless you. you have a super fantastic sunday we love you Much big love. time Much peace bye-bye